Yo, what's happening, people? We back in the cup, man. First cup of 2022. Hopefully, it's gonna be a good one. But yeah, man, I was scrolling down the YouTube rabbit hole as you do some days when you're bored, and I came across one cold artist from back in the day, and her name is Loro. If you're from the UK, I know you probably remember her, fam. She has some bangers. This time, baby, I'll be bulletproof. Yeah, she's cold. I'll probably put a little snippet in to remind you a lot. So the aim of the game today is to sample one of her songs and see if we can make it into a banger. So yeah, man, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the song that I decided to try to sample is For The Kill. But when I listen to the actual song, I don't really feel like anything of the instrument was too usable. For I couldn't really see how to use it. So I took the acapella, I found it on YouTube, downloaded it, and I think I can flip the hook. So let me just find it. I might take that as well, that could be hard. I'm going in for the kill. I'm doing it for a thrill. Oh yeah, so now I'm just gonna put some effects plugins on it and just manipulate the sound a little bit. So I've got some waist tune, a sound shifter, EQ, some delay, some reverb and an ensemble. And in a bus, I also have a vocal bender just to add it a bit high end. So this is what it sounds like. And so now the vocal bender. And I let go of my hand. So yeah, so now next thing I want to do is I want to add some chords. Those chords, this quantize and EQ that. I think I want to take it quite melodical and emotional, so let me get a piano. Uh, so I kind of know what I want to play. I ain't nice like that on the keys yet, so I'm gonna just play it like chord by chord and then let's see what we come up with. That's the first part I'm gonna do. That's the first one. Let's just fix it up a little bit. That was a bit messy. I might do this bit separately. But yeah, I'm gonna fast forward to the final product because this might take me a little while. Okay, so this is what the final melody sounds like. Obviously, oh, very soulful, like, kind of churchy, but yeah, I like it. Let me bounce that in place. I've got this mallet type sound from Evolve Workstation. Let's see what we can do Uh, so that's a nice little texture and I think I want to have like something for like um like a somewhat of a breakdown maybe slightly different chord progression Still a bit over the place, but I think it's a little bit better. <laughs> I 
to duplicate the pad because I think what I'm hearing let's duplicate that I want to like put like a pumping effect on it Yeah, the drums are bouncy still, so let's let's start working on the eight oh eight and kick. That will work. So I've got sample zone. I usually change the C3 just because I like it in the middle of my MIDI keyboard. And then I'm going to synth. Oh, damn. Synth. Details. Legato. 69 milliseconds is what I usually have for my glass settings. And I turn the polyphony down to one. And yeah. mix it and let the beat play out let me know what you think down below in the comments you always good people be back but yeah i didn't want to just play the beat out because i kind of added a lot of stuff so i thought i'd explain it i kind of got carried away i was just playing around with different things so but yeah i went and put in a couple more elements from the acapella and i got a little breakdown so i'm gonna let it play through and i'll just explain a couple of the things that i did So I've got the original acapella paired up with what I did before. I think it sounds clean now. Coming. 
break down with some new keys. This is my favorite bit here. It's smooth. think down below in the comments i ain't gonna lie if you tell me this ain't hard i'll probably call you a liar but yeah now i'm playing but yeah thank you guys for watching more content on the way 2022 we going crazy all year man so god bless and i'll catch you on the next one